Good day, lovely people. This is Peter Odiakose once again, and we are heading to sites. This is Okoba um, GRA Scheme 1 on the old Abiokuta Road, heading to Thermal Hilltop Estate in Alagbadu. Okay, this is for all our clients who are not available for site inspection, especially those in the diaspora who have made this request. I also try to increase the pace of this video for recording sake so we don't have to sit all the way through watching. So this is, we are about approaching the Agulebar Bridge where the old Abiokuta Road meets with Lagos, um, with uh, Lagos Abiokuta Expressway. So this is, we are taking the ramp now to join the Lagos Abiokuta Expressway. So this is where those who are coming from the airport in Ikeja and uh, uh, you know other parts of um, Oshodi where we meet in this same road heading towards the other direction but although we'll be leaving that road here in Aguleba straight would have taken us to even AIT uh, color bus stop where you know we can also quickly assess our estate over there but we'll take that ramp since we are driving we'll take this ramp now we'll take this uh, turn and we'll leave this road this is one of the shopping malls among the numerous shopping centers we have around this axis and um, this road is the one leading back to Oshodi but we'll be leaving that now turning to our right one thing about I love about this environment is that from wherever you are coming from within Lagos down to where we are heading to at night to all be covered in street lights so the street lights will be on at night so you can have a comfortable drive even at night so as you can see this environment is well opened up and um, in terms of accessibility the access road is uh, pretty comfortable that this turn to our right is, will lead us back to AIT in um, Alagbadu so since we are driving we'll just go straight down and then we meet Ikota Road for those coming from uh, straight from Ianupaja, they can join us at this axis and also it's going to be a smooth drive from Ikota Road down to the roundabout where we turn to um, Fairmont Hilltop Estate. So I'm glad we're able to get you on this tour. So for those who are targeting a good place to invest that is within the thick of town, uh, you know, within the, a very much accessible environment with good road network. I think this will be a very good location for you so you can let us know and please if you are yet to subscribe to our youtube channel please do that just hit the subscribe button it is free to subscribe we did this video for you let us know if you want us to also do videos of other location for you we will try and get our hands on that and um, of course we'll increase the pace of this video for recording sake so we don't have to wait all through trying to watch just to pick the major point so after crossing this bridge the land you can see right there that is Fairmont Hilltop Estate already in Alagbadu it's more like a mountain top so from that land you can look down and you know have a good view of the entire environment today is allocation exercise we're already here on site so this is it welcome to Fairmont Hilltop Estate in Alagbadu Okay, we are there. Allocation is the size. Yeah, good day, beautiful people. This is Peter Odiakose once again, and we are live again in Alagbado. This is famous Hilltop Estate, Alagbado. And today is allocation exercise. A lot of clients came today for the allocation, and um, my client is here as well. He came for his own allocation. So maybe um, after the whole thing, we'll say hi to him and also celebrate with him and his family came for their physical allocation today. And one of the joy of um, owning landed properties is it's not just after making payments and then you have your land allocated to you on paper without anything on the ground. And so for this particular estate, you get allocated on paper and you also get physical allocation on the ground. We need documents to show for it, the back the documents to back it up. And that's a very good thing and that's why we are all excited today. And um, we'll be bringing you more updates as time 
have the time on hold for today's allocation exercise. I remember Peter Odiakosem. Thank you very much and uh, stay tuned. The road. The last plot by the right. Before the fence. The last plot, the last plot by the right. Okay. Yeah. So this is block 14, plot 11. From this peg down to where that building is, showing boundary with that building. And uh, starting from this peg again. And there will be another peg at the other side, measuring 324 square meters. This place we are standing is the access road, all through. And it's going to be like a close. So, definitely beautiful terrain. Yeah. It's going to be much more touched. <laughs> yeah. No much noise. All right. So, as you can see, the beautiful layout. What you see here is exactly what is about to be replicated right here. So, very soon it will all be shining. As you can see, it already has good access road down to this place. So, for those who are particular about coming to an environment that already has good road network, this is something you should be looking at. And um, this is the entrance. We'll be having two. Um, well fortified entrance with a fully secured um, environment whereby nobody comes into the estate without the knowledge of who you are coming to see and of course going out the security has to check you out so those are one of the packages to be seen now uh, the road network within the estate is already taking shape as you can see with paved walkway and uh, two double lane at some streets and single lane at some other streets and the infrastructure like the street lights and all that is not left out as you can see we already have street lights in this environment and it's going to be the same for all the streets in the estate even as even as it progresses now these buildings you are seeing are for investors like you who have also purchased land and are developing you know having their own development so this land is already covered with a good title and that is a um, certificate of occupancy. As you already know, your interest in a particular landed property since it is an immovable asset is reflected in the document it carries. So be rest assured that uh, in this particular location, the title of the land has made it stand out, having a certificate of occupancy. So you will also be getting your deed of assignment and your survey plan after full payment so this is something you should look out for so that in years from now you can do whatever you want to do with your land you can sell it you can develop or you can will it to your kids or leave an inheritance for them in an environment that is fast expounding as you can see all around us fully occupied and the quest for good rental income is growing by the day I believe you would want to consider securing more than a plot as much as your budget can carry so you should be looking at that as well so for those who will be fast enough to grab from the limited available plots in scheme 3 which is about 20% less than the original price you can get that from 5.1 million upwards for 324 square meters upwards so let us know for those who are yet to subscribe into subscribe to our YouTube channel, consider doing that and um, give us a thumbs up, like and share this video. We made this video for you. My name remains Peter Odiakose. So I'm glad to have shown you around on this tour. If you have more questions, drop them on the comment box below. And um, good day. Bye bye.